Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. So I've been going through my notes for the last uh, 60 days or so, trying to catch up with some of the requests. I've been dealing with some family health issues. And uh, for the patient ones, uh, thank you. For the inpatient ones and rude, uh, not so much. So uh, if you are, are requesting something and you're being rude, trust me, it's not gonna get honored. So. Anyways, for the patient ones, thank you. And now I'll move on. Filming in 1080. So I have a subscriber asking about the um, Alt and F2 small r. Is that the only thing you can do with that keyboard combination? No, you can actually launch applications from that. I'm gonna show you that today. I'll also talk about Alt F1, Control F1, and the differences and talk about several different ways of doing certain things. So again, yes, this is a, a little bit about keyboard shortcuts, if you want to call it that. But it's also important at the same time. Some functions um, you may want to use that to recover from. Let's put it that way. Alt and F4 for my first command to close a window. And uh, subscription keys in the corner if you like to subscribe with uh, personal yellow brackets. So, uh, so again, for the patient ones, thank you. Now, um, uh, the person mentioned Alt and F2. Now, normally you put in a small r to restart cinnamon. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in more detail later, if you are wondering why somebody would do that. It has to do with missing panel bars. But uh, let me talk about some other things we can do with Alt and F2 since the request was asked. Depending on what you have installed, uh, it launches applications. Alt and F4 to close. I'm just going to pause for a second. If you do have a laptop, you may have to use function Alt F4 to close because a lot of your F keys, F1 through 12, are pre-assigned on laptops. I'm using a tower computer today, so I don't have to worry about that. So if I open up a web browser per se, and I want to close it, instead of aiming the X in the corner, I use an Alt and F4. Same thing goes with the file manager, Alt and F4 very quick okay so what about other things alt and f2 what is mint install another name for mint install is software manager i made mention of this before in my videos some of you folks have paid attention some not so much but that's okay we can always just click. Another uh, thing to just be aware of, uh, if you're trying these kind of things, they need to be installed. Alt and F2. Gnome-logs. Alt and F4 to close. Alt and F2. GIMP. GIMP is like Photoshop. I have that installed also. Alt and F4 to close. Some of you folks may know what this one is. Web App Manager. You can create your own web-based icons without any coding skills. Now, if you hit the hamburger menu and you go to the about, there's very few um, instructions on how to use this. So thus I make several videos for that, including one that actually um, shows you how to make a web-based icon for your home router. You can find this tool in the internet on all of the Linux Mint products. That would be Cinnamon, XFCE, and Mate desktops. Closing that. So again, I can uh, continue going, but uh, where did I get the command for SOL out of here? Right-click, Properties, because that is the command for it. I could technically, instead of being um, diligent by right-clicking added to the desktop, I can create a launcher also, just to let you see this for commands. I wouldn't do this, but I am just gonna give you a quick example of something like that. I will use an emoji. We can always use a smile. Now, I typed in SOL, you can see that went blue. That means it's valid. I'm gonna say no, 
I'm not going to place it in my menus because I'm just doing this for a sample. Would I normally do this? Oh, of course not. I would just uh, right click add it to the desktop and then add this down here if I wanted to or add to panel. I already have it sitting here. All right, now let's switch gears a little bit. So some of you folks, Alt and F1, know how to do this. Workspaces. Did you also know you can use Control, Alt, and Upper Arrow key? That's the same command. One more time, Alt, F1. Control, Alt, Upper Arrow key. Two ways of doing that, okay? Control and F1, keyboard shortcuts. Sometimes you'll have to have stuff minimized. Three pages worth of goodies. Very common ones are found on page three. Okay, so we can talk about um, lots of different keyboard shortcuts, but uh, I'm just gonna leave you with one for today, as far as a shortcut. Some of you folks know how to do this and some maybe not so much. I'm gonna put a timer in here. See, normally this waiting for you to click. So I'm gonna put a timer where it'll automatically count down to zero and it'll auto shut down. So all you really are doing is clicking that once. So it's settings, general, and now we can see restarting cinema. Oh, it restarts cinnamon also on its own, you may not be aware of. Restarting cinnamon can be done three ways. Control, Alt, and Escape. Alt, F2, small r. Right clicking on your panel bar if you have one. If you have one. Restarting cinnamon. Because sometimes the suspend feature may give you trouble. Blank panels. So. Restarting Cinnamon is a tool that is automatically on on your machine. You can turn it off if you have tons of RAM. You can also change that number. Did you also know that when you're doing some updates, occasionally you'll restart Cinnamon also? All right, now I'm gonna move on. Enable timer when logging out or shutting down. You plug in the time frames. I'm gonna put in 17 seconds. Make sure you hit enter. Now you can close that. Now when I reopen this and click, I have 17 seconds before it turns off my computer and I can walk out the door right now. I'm going to hit cancel before that happens. Thank you for watching.